Kia ora e my name's Sasha Lockley and today we're going to talk about finances, lending and debt. How very exciting. But before we get there, I want to explain to you why I'm sat here. What led me to this place in this seat in this studio. So I come from England. I know I've still got an accent. I've been here since 2006 though. And where I come from in England, it's a tiny village in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there's a glue factory, there's farming uh, and a shoe factory that closed down. That's about it really. Um, when I was growing up, my mum's objective for me was to be rich because we didn't have any money. My dad had a business that failed. The reason it failed is that my granddad, who was the farmer, died. I'm telling you all of these things because when I was growing up, money was scarce and all I wanted was to have money when I was an adult. It also led me to realise that life's really unpredictable and that I remember hiding behind the couch when I was a kid from the debt collectors because we didn't want to open the door because they were scary. I remember sitting around the dining room table and my mum and dad had got a really big um, Bell's whiskey bottle and we used to put all of our spare change in there. And I remember counting that money with my mum and dad to see whether we could pay some bills. So where I come from is a place of scarcity with money and being a bit scared of it. So when I was 18, my mum said, you know what, if you're going to be rich, you need to be an accountant. I bloody hate numbers, but I quite like money. So I decided that I'd be an accountant. Um, and I'm gonna fast forward now because that was 20 years ago. And for 20 years, I have been trying to figure out this world of money. I still don't like numbers, um, but I realise that money's a reality that we just have to live with. One of the weird jobs that I've had in the last 20 years is that I worked for the Serious Fraud Office. I'm feeling a bit nervous about even saying this. Um, and the reason that I am no longer an accountant, including being an accountant at the Serious Fraud Office, is that all I saw was the bad bits of numbers and behavior and the arse end of bad behavior around money. And that's the bloody soul destroying. I couldn't do it because I believe that people are good. And I believe that um, life is unpredictable. And I think that we need to recognize that. And I believe that the finance system, the banks and the finance companies, at the moment they judge you and me for what life inherently is, which is unpredictable. So that's why I left being an accountant. That's why I left being um, an exec at a finance company, because I know that there's a different way and I want to kind of lift the lid on what really goes on at banks and finance companies and how you can be in control of that rather than the bank or the finance company being in control of you.